This is a really good step up fight for Virgil Ortiz. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Bro Wage of the Boxing Guru. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. So this Saturday is a fight between Virgil Ortiz and Igus Cavalaskis. And this is a good step up fight for uh, Virgil Ortiz. Virgil Ortiz's last fight was against Maurice Hooker, a uh, former champion at 140 pounds. And some people could say that, you know, Virgil Ortiz faced a blown up 140 pounder, which I don't feel like is a totally unfair statement, but you know, it nonetheless, you know, he's a former world champion and Virgil Ortiz handled him pretty easily. This is a really good fight, step up fight. Igas Cavalasquez is a puncher, so we get to see how Virgil Ortiz can take the punches, you know. We all know he, he can give it. Let's see if he can take it. And you know, Igas Cavalasquez is somebody who dropped Terrence Crawford before, so He's going to land his punches. Uh, he has a 75% knockout ratio, and Virgil Ortiz has a 100% knockout ratio. So these are two punchers fighting each other. We get to see if Virgil Ortiz has heart, if he has some, if he has, can give back some resistance, you know, when somebody's hitting him. And also, it gives us a barometer. If he blasts out Cavalaskis in one round, we may be singing his praise and saying he's the next big thing, you know, because... Uh, Cavalasquez dropped Crawford, gave him a little bit of trouble, and um, yeah, so this is a good barometer. This is a great, great fight. Uh, I love the matchmaking, and cause, because I feel Virgil Ortiz is ready. Uh, but if he were to win this fight, I think his next fights should be either against Jamal James or Jesse Vargas. And the only reason I don't say Boots Ennis or Terrence Crawford or Errol Spence, Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman, Sean Porter... All these other top top guys is because I know these other guys won't fight him just financially and risk wise it just doesn't make sense for them so I'm being realistic I know some of you guys be like hey listen if he beats Cavalasquez I want to see him against you know Spence or Crawford or Porter or whoever you want to see him against I'm just being realistic I doubt that'll happen but yeah this will be a good fight I got Virgil Ortiz by knockout Fifth round knockout. I don't think uh, Cavalasquez can handle that type of pressure. I feel like he kind of quit against Terrence Crawford. Although, it's easier for me to say I was watching it from my couch. But I feel like he could have gave more of an effort against Terrence Crawford until getting stopped. And I feel like Virgil Ortiz, when he comes, he just doesn't stop. He's just go, 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 go. And we saw that in the Maurice Hooker fight. But alright guys, that's my video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a comment what you guys think of the video, uh, the fight this Saturday. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and follow me on Twitter at underscore Broadway Joel. Alright guys, until next time. Peace.